In this video, you saw me measure this room, go out to the miter saw with the measurements, make all the cuts, then come back in and spread it and install it. And you can see these inside corners, how tight they are. I mean, there's no caulk, no filler. It will be caulk. I mean, I'll caulk the top edge for the paint so there won't be that line, you know, right along here. But look, look at the miter. And that's not actually a miter, it's a cope. This is a, what I call a hybrid cope. It can be used with any flat material. If this, uh, this is mostly flat. And if it did not have this top piece, if it was just flat all the way, and you butt it into it, then you're gonna see the line running this way or that way, and you're gonna know that it's a butt joint. But if you make a small miter through a little bit of the top, and this is about three quarters of an inch, you, so you make your miter, and then you just uh, cut off that little bit, and then on the other side, which I call the hybrid cope, I label it HC for hybrid cope, and then I basically cut a miter all the way through, and then I flip the material over, saw that on the saw, and then I cut back at an angle. It, it could be straight back, but I usually go five or 10 degrees just to give a little hollow in there. And then when I push it together, I've got the cope. So this is pushing in hard. In, in this case, I think this is the cope. It's hard to tell after they're installed but you pushed hard and it doesn't matter if the drywall moves, this stays tight. And in six months, in six years, this is still gonna be tight. If you cut a miter, it won't be, it'll come apart. Things move, even if you glue it and you don't need glue for this. This will stay together. And if I had carpet or something coming in later, new construction, they're gonna put tack strip down and they're gonna push against the wall. It's gonna open up miters. It's not gonna open this up. This is gonna stay tight. You saw this, these pieces uh, were a little bit long. They bowed away from the wall. And as I pushed them, I put a lot of pressure on these corners. I do the same thing with any horizontal molding. I do the same thing with uh, crown molding. Of course, with crown molding, I usually can't do this hybrid. I have to do a true cope. I have no, another whole new video on this. I've not seen anybody do this before. It's possible I learned it subconsciously take uh, credit for it, but it doesn't really matter. I've taught all of my finished carpenters that worked for me over the years this, and this is how we coped all of our base. And the nice thing is, there's no callbacks. And again, just take a look, no filler, no caulk yet. So now I'll do the same thing to the next room and the two bathrooms. And typically when I'm doing production, I don't break it out into one room. I actually will go and measure all the rooms and if I have a house, back in my production days of a finished carpenter, which is going back a while, I literally would measure the entire house. And I had my little notepads, the same notepads that I still use today. I get these paper, you know, I get these free, you know, when somebody puts in vinyl or I can go to a, a store where they have vinyl, this is the cheap paperback stuff. And I just cut this up into squares like this. And these are my notepads and I write down my measurement. And then just when I'm at the saw, whatever measurement is on the right side, when I'm at the saw, it's on the right side. And when whatever, uh, whatever cut is on the left side, when I'm at the saw, that's the cut I do on the left side. I don't have to think about where am I at in the room. When I'm at the miter saw, each piece is set up so that it's as if I'm got my miter saw right in front of that wall. So I know this side, left side is left side, right side is right side. I showed you in that crown molding video because I cut all of my crown in position that it's actually the opposite. Left is right, right is left. That's because you're cutting the crown upside down. The base, you're not doing that. 